What is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, as you can tell by the title, we are going to be going over how and why I now schedule my posts on my Instagram theme pages. You guys at home may be working on a theme page to potentially grow a business. Maybe you're working on an Instagram page to grow a personal brand. You know, maybe you're looking for that Instagram clout and you want to be the next Kylie Jenner charging millions and millions of dollars to post a photo on Instagram. Okay, guys, I'm just going to cut this video off real quick. I've just edited the video and I forgot to mention that I'll be giving away $50 to someone at random who likes and comments on this video. All you have to do to enter is literally leave a comment below, let me know what you thought of the video, watch the video all the way through, and then leave a like on the video too. I'm gonna to be picking one of you guys at random. I'll be posting the results up on my Instagram page, so make sure you go and follow me there. The link's in the description. And yeah, one of you guys will be winning $50 on PayPal, so good luck with that. and. Uh, I'll leave you to enjoy the rest of the video. Growing an Instagram theme page isn't necessarily difficult. There are plenty of things that can get in the way and make it really, really difficult to scale um, and to be consistent. Now, obviously, I talk about this in all of my videos, but the main key ingredient to growing a successful theme page and a business on Instagram is to be consistent, not only so that you can get in the mindset of prioritizing Instagram as a platform for your business, but also ensuring that the Instagram algorithm knows that you're a serious theme page that, uh, you know, it's consistently uploading and that does get recognized by Instagram and that is what helps you grow and that is what is gonna get you on the Explore page and all the new followers. As I've mentioned, I just wanna quickly go over briefly a platform that I use uh, and how I find content for in particular my theme pages. So I currently have eight theme pages in total all across different niches, but I use this same strategy on every single one. A few months back, I was trialing this and seeing if it negatively affected my engagement across the pages and whether it was something I wanted to continue. Now, firstly, I thought it wasn't going so well and I thought that maybe you know posting manually was a better way of getting more exposure and getting that reach on the Instagram algorithm, but I've kind of done a little bit of a 180 on that and I'll tell you why. So. As I've already mentioned, consistency is key. And when you've got like eight theme pages and you're posting two to three times a day on them theme pages, it can be really, really easy to miss a day, uh, especially if you haven't got virtual assistants in place that are posting regularly on them accounts for you. You know, hiring a VA isn't necessarily the easiest thing to do because only you really know what sort of quality of work you want on your Instagram theme page and you know what sort of content's working especially with the lockdown that Instagram's given at the moment in terms of sharing and copyright on other people's content, it's really, really important that you sort of manage and make sure every single post going up on your page has been authorized by the content creator and you're not gonna get blocked two weeks later because you didn't have a system in place to prevent that. So in previous videos, I mentioned a platform called later.com. A lot of you guys have been telling me about Facebook Creator Studio, telling me that you guys use that and it's really, really good. I actually don't agree. I don't like the platform. I think it's very, very clunky. Uh, and when it comes to posting across several different theme pages at once, you can't actually schedule the posts, it seems. You have to manually do it for each individual page. Whereas later.com, I'm literally setting it across all five pages and then varying the content across different days to ensure that the same post isn't posted on the same day across multiple theme pages. So that way it keeps it varied, it keeps it different. And um, if for whatever reason, someone was following one of my theme pages uh, and they were also following another one, they're not gonna get hit with the same posts on the same day. So little things like that you need to think of when you are scheduling your content, especially if you do have multiple pages, just to ensure that you don't trip up and get slack with it really. So as of right now, I am now using later.com again. There is a link in the description that you guys can check out and you can play around with it yourself. But all in all, I've been using this platform on and off for about two or three years now. It does what I need it to do. It saves captions, it saves my hashtags, it allows me to post really, really quickly, upload mass content, and pretty much schedule my content all within one day for the entire month. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys are probably sat there thinking, why do I need to schedule my content? What benefits are there for scheduling the content? So there's a few things, right? One, not only is this gonna allow you to free up your time when it comes to your theme pages, uh, instead of focusing really, really heavily on making sure you're there three times a day to upload a photo or a video and potentially missing that slot and actually just missing the upload altogether, this is gonna help prevent that. You know, when I was doing it manually, I would find that some days I would miss a couple of days and it would just knock my consistency out. Not only is that bad for the Instagram algorithm, but that's also bad for your own sort of mentality and mindset around Instagram. Because after I missed one or two days, I was just like, 
you know, whatever, what's another day, you know, I'll skip another day, who cares? So it was at that moment, I knew that I had to find a solution and ensure that I could keep consistent and bring these pages back up to their former glory, right? So that's one way this is gonna help you. This is gonna help you remain consistent and it's also gonna free up your time. So you only have to worry about your theme pages one or two days a month, opposed to worrying about it every single day, seven days a week. Now, that alone is just a complete win in my eyes and the best reason why you should be doing this. And also it's gonna allow you then to spend that free time on potentially growing new pages so you can scale up your entire Instagram operation. Uh, you know, you can have more than one page. You can have 10 pages on this account now because you only have to worry about it a couple of days a month. So not only are you gonna be saving yourself time, but it also gives you a lot of movement and room for scaling up this side of the business and actually just building more theme pages. Once you've got the recipe down and you've got the strategy down, that's it. It's just a rinse and repeat method and you can just do it across every single new theme page that you start. Uh, and you're onto a winner pretty much from the get-go because it's a proven concept and you've done it before on your other theme pages. You just gotta follow the same strategy and there you go. So let me get into the actual details on how I go in now and upload my content and how I schedule it on later.com. Essentially what you see here is me going through my saved videos and photos on my theme page. These videos here have already asked the content creators if I can share these and they've already given me the yes and the go ahead for that. So what I do, I just use a mass Instagram downloader that I download from Google Chrome. Uh, it's an extension. I'll leave a screenshot up here so you guys can use the one that I use. And what it allows you to do is essentially just go through their page and just download Instagram videos and photos. So this is gonna allow you to really speed up the process and download the photos quickly directly to your computer. Now, alongside doing this, I also open up the content in a new tab because then I can then copy and paste the description and the content creator's handle directly into my later.com when I am posting this content. I like to work on a week by week basis. so. Essentially, if I'm, if I'm uploading to one theme page and I'm doing it twice a day, I will need 14 pieces of content to ensure that I'm posting two times a day, every single day for a week. So once you've got 14 pieces of content, head back on over to later.com and then you can mass upload that content directly from your downloads and you can just schedule all of that content across different days at different time periods that you want to be posting on. So I'm based in the UK and I usually post from 10 a.m. all the way up to 10 p.m. I find that gives me a good amount of coverage in terms of different countries and demographics that my pages are in. But again, this is gonna be different for you guys. Have a look at your insights, see where your main followers are, and you can base your posting schedule around that. So inside later.com, I also have saved captions. So this speeds up the entire process and I can literally just copy and paste that saved caption directly into the new post. I can choose my thumbnail in the new post if it's for a video, and then I can then copy the content over from the original content creators post as well as their handle and credit them in that. Or I can write my own, depending on how I'm feeling and depending on how good the caption was based on the original content creator. I might just use their content and just say, you know, picture and words by blah, 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 whoever made that post and whoever is the original owner of the content. For those of you asking, it's probably worth noting, Later is approved by Instagram. So you're not gonna get in trouble for using this platform. And it's part of the reason why I'm happy to pay a little bit more to ensure that I'm not gonna get stung on my theme pages for using a dodgy third party application that isn't approved by Instagram. So look, I hope this video helped you in some way. And for sure, if you guys did find it interesting and wanna find out more about Later.com and how I schedule posts and find content, then definitely leave a comment in this video and let me know what you want to see. I'll be uploading more content like this and hopefully helping you guys out in the near future. But yeah, look, if you did find value, hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. We're really, really growing quickly as a community uh, and I'm able to help so many of you guys out with your Instagram businesses and different e-commerce projects and it's just great to do and I love it. So yeah, shoot me over a message on Instagram if you need any help with anything too. I'm always trying to get back to you guys there. So um, that's all from me today. I hope it did help you. And if it did, I should see you in the next video. Bye.